So the first thing that we are going to do is to create other required tables and to do that I'm just getting into the folder where I'll create my table file. Uh, so this already I have created but uh, creating new one. To do that I'll just use SQLite 3 and let's say create a new one database sensors.db and here I'll create a new table for sensors so to do that I'll use this comment or query basically create table sensors ID into the primary key what increment then the sensor name value unit and time stop just hit enter and now I should get the table created Okay. So to use SQLet 3, you need to have this installed. Uh, so I'm over here using a Raspberry Pi, and if you are, then you can uh, check out my other tutorial on this, for which I have given the link down below in the description. Now we are done with this. Uh, now let's uh, get back to Node-RED, and we'll see how we can, you know, interact with this table that I've created here. Now in Node-RED, uh, by default, it doesn't support uh, SQLite. Uh, to add the support, you need to go to minus palette, then SQLite, and should use this one, node red SQLite. Click install. Now, what we are going to do is to LSL, and we should have this sensor to DB. Okay, now here. Add the SQLite node here. Go to database, change this now. Uh, like for me, I'm using temp SQLite slash sensors dot d. Right, create hit and done and deploy. I should see something like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a fixed statement over here, and that is select star from sensors. Done. I'll add a debug node to print out the result, and this should out an array of rows from the database. And we should also have a trigger that can trigger this query. Let's deploy. Open the debug pen. Click this. And you see there's no rules basically on the in a table. That's why we are getting it empty. Now let's try to insert some data. I'll just clone this. And over here. Uh, instead of fixed statement, I'm going to use this view. We have message dot topic, and to use that, we need a function node. And uh, let's say message dot topic, and this will basically have a query. So insert into sensors. And oh, I have that ready actually. I can just copy this. And you can find the link to this gist over here in the description. So I'll just go here, twist it. So inside the sensors, I didn't need value in it, I stop. So Instead of this, what we can do is scale. Okay. Now we can just add well one and two. We can directly give values, otherwise we can, you know, 
pass it as parameters and now we need to pass the values using message dot payload doing this way you can always you know input the payload from another node and that will also help you in certain values so this is going to be an array and the first thing is the sensor name three and then the value and then uh, value 3 is basically the unit so let's say kilowatt then that's that's it and then we need a inject node to trigger the insertion now let's trigger this So this should be period create as close to move into right and database date. Oh, I think I got some information of this was Now let's see if we are getting it. And you see, we managed to insert two records, and you can see the records here. Okay, so that is one of the way that uh, you know you can insert record into the table. And there's another way that is called as a prepared statement and to do that i'll just copy these three nodes and over here what you can do is prepared statement and here what you can do is Okay, now uh, in the function node, we need to set message.params and that is going to be an object. And for that, we'll have val1 and val2. So this key value pair over here depends whatever variable or parameter we have given in the prepared statement. So this will change accordingly. Let's say I make it four and twenty-nine and put it done deploy. Now let's try to fetch the records and you can see we should get the latest one here, sensor four B. So there are two ways and there is another way that also we can use uh, using batch uh, queries basically. So over here we can use batch without response so you will not get any output out of it when running the query but that will help you uh, you know something like if you are trying to insert multiple records uh, you know at a time that you can use. So basically in that case the message dot topic will have string of queries and uh, that it will basically you know uh, help you insert data into the table so let's test that now we have got four records let's try to get two 
Oh, sorry. So just to try to escape this. Okay, done. Deploy. We should have six records now. And yeah, you can see we have got six records. So these are three ways uh, that you can run queries on the SQLite connection. Okay, so if you want to try out some other queries, uh, you can have different select treatment and all that that you can do. So that's for so that's all for today guys. I uh, hope you have liked this video. If so, hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in our next video. Till then, goodbye.